Let's take a look how to make the spinning 3D animation here in After Effects. I'm gonna activate the title action save. Let's go and select the circle and I'm gonna go to the fill and I'm gonna change the color to black, click OK. Let's go to the stroke and I'm gonna add white, click OK. Let's go and press Shift plus Control, create a circle. Also make sure to position the anchor point perfectly into the center, press and hold Control, double click on the pan behind. And now we're gonna need to place the circle perfectly into the center, so let's go to Align, align it to the center. Now let's go to the layer, activate the 3D. If you don't have this option, you can go to the toggle switch, click on it, and this way it's going to appear or disappear. Also make sure that you're on classic 3D. And now let's go to transform, select the anchor point, and I'm gonna go here to the minus six, and I'm gonna push it all the way to the left, somewhere here. Let's go to the camera, I'm gonna change it to top. All right, so let's go to the XYZ rotation, and I'm gonna go to the Y, and with the Y, you can see it is going to push the line in a circle. And we're gonna need to create copies of these, like open them up, go to the Y rotation and add 10 degrees. So as you can see, it is going to push it out, but there's like a way faster way to do it. So I'm gonna delete this one. Now let's go back to the original layer. Let's go to the Y rotation. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, and I'm gonna type in index minus one, close it, asterisk, and we're gonna go with 10 degrees. So I'm just gonna type in 10 and click somewhere here. So as you can see, it's not doing anything, but I'm gonna select the layer, collapse it, and press Ctrl D. And as you can see, it duplicates and it jumps 10 degrees automatically. I'm gonna press Ctrl D again, and again and again, until it's going to go around and round. And now we're gonna need to connect all these circles with a null. So let's go to the layer, new, and select null object. And I'm gonna go to the layers, select one of the circles at the top, scroll down, press and hold shift, select all the layers, scroll up, and let's go to the pick whip and connect it to the null one. So what we're gonna need to do here is rotate the whole composition. So I'm gonna go to the null one, select it, and also make sure to activate the 3D because right now it's not active. And we're gonna need to go to the Y rotation and I'm gonna go and press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, and I'm gonna type in time asterisk 20, and I'm gonna go to the camera view, let's go back to default, hit play, and it looks something like this. And I also wanna rotate the whole composition, so I'm gonna go to the layer, new, and I'm gonna make another null, and let's go and activate the 3D on the second null, and let's go to the first null, and let's select the pick whip, and connect it to the second null. So now I'm gonna select the null number two, open it up, transform, and here we can go to the XYZ and just to rotate it. So this is going to rotate the whole composition and now you can set up the full composition however you like. And as you can see, the rotation is still going to be intact.